Hey, take it easy. You won already. <laughs> Why am I imagining my cadaver is like starting to beat up the flank after we already took out the rest of his team or some shit? It's like, yo, take it easy, take it easy. You beat me already. What the hell? Why are, why are you punching me? My chest, oh, my jugular. short my hair is it looks so bad now i gotta wear hats hey everybody king corpus here and welcome on back to episode seven lucky number seven of our brand new pokemon fire red omega egg lock the wettest ass egg lock here on youtube if you missed the last episode we tried to make it through mount moon that did not happen. But let's start off today's episode with a real quick team recap so then that way everybody is on the same page with what the squad is looking like. <laughs> first things first. I'm gonna reel it, reel it. We got Spoudini the Cadaver here rocking out a level 24 psychic typing and her focus ability with the moveset of teleport, disable, psybeam, and reflect. Next up, we've got Yo Bet the Grimer here rocking out at level 7 with the poison typing, the sticky hold ability, and the moveset of pound rock tomb lick and shadow punch this dude still does not have any stab what in the frickity frackity fuckity fuck next up we have full metal the magnemite here rocking out level 17 electric steel typing the sturdy ability with the movie set of metal sound sonic boom thundershock and supersonic we have ponus our penis rock flower here rocking out level nine the rock and grass typing the suction cups ability with the move set of astonish rock slide recover and mirror coat and last but not least we have hidana our not you hidan our scyther here bug flying typing level 10 swarm ability with the move set of Quickle Tickle, Leer, Razor Wind, and Silver Wind. Wow, I absolutely forgot about our sixth Pokemon. So we also have an Ankata here. His name is Can I Help? I think he's asking on purpose because he knows that we low he kind of forgot about him. Bug Ground Typing Level 5 Compound Eyes ability with the moveset of Scratch, Hard, and Gust, and Silver Wind. So in the last episode, we really freaking struggled to get through Mount Moon. There's a lot of trainers in there. There's a lot of wild Pokemon in there, and it is actually a very difficult dungeon for us. We're gonna run on back to Pewter City just real quick so that way we can go pick up some more medication because I believe we should have some more money now after battling some of the trainers in the cave at least. Yeah, we're straight gonna buy all seven of these things. I don't care if I go broke. We got medication, baby. But I'm really hoping that we'll be able to make it through the cave in today's episode. Because if I'm not mistaken, I think that we took on like most of the trainers that this cave has to offer. But I'm actually not entirely sure. And if I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you guys, I also have absolutely no clue where to go in this cave at all. <laughs> Yo, what is this thing? They don't normally have like smoke clouds and fire red leaf green. Maybe they normally do and I'm crazy. I was thinking it was like one of the smoke clouds in black to white too. This game bamboozled me. <laughs> so we are gonna absolutely switch out the Magnemite for the Kadabra because I'm currently trying to level up the Magnemite for some reason right now. Like, I don't know. I feel like having a Magnetism would just be so dang helpful. But yeah, no, Heike, I don't know where I'm going. I'm very lost. I have no clue what I'm doing. I've never been good at Kanto. You guys know this. <laughs> Too bad, too bad, too bad everywhere. Too bad everywhere. This is dumb. Too bad, 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 too bad. Did I just see a gold bat? No, it was a zoo bat. Yo, like right here, I'm calling it. It's gonna be a zoo bat. Oh! We can just go for a thunder shock on this thing. It should one shot. Oh man, bitch boy Zubat think he's gonna take us out with a wing attack. Who the fuck do you think you are? I one shot at you. How many thousands more of you where you come from? You're replaceable. Stupid ass bat. I feel like that's like the deepest insult that you can low key give someone. Yeah, bro, you're replaceable. Like, it's kind of true. I think that is a saying, like in the business world or wherever, where it's just like, oh, everybody is replaceable to a certain degree. Like, yes, I think that is true. Everybody is replaceable, whether it's like a working environment or I don't know, a friendship or something. But I mean, a family? Absolutely not true. I don't know. It's just that some people are more difficult to replace than others. That's a quote from Impulsive the podcast. <laughs> I know you all know the podcast I'm talking about. Vinny talks about it all the damn time. <laughs> no, but I actually really freaking liked that quote though. Everybody is replaceable. It's just that some people are more difficult to replace than others because it's kind of true. Like if I wanted to get technical, I don't know if Matt just decided to like sabotage the channel one day and just not do any of the edits that I asked him to do for a video or something. Technically, yes, I could fire his ass and he wouldn't be the editor on the channel anymore. Bitch, I hope the fuck you do 
But then here's the thing, the youtube.com slash kingcorefish YouTube channel wouldn't have a freaking editor on the content going up. So then a lot of things would be taking a hit, whether it be consistency or the quantity or the quality or any of that kind of stuff. Because at this point, Matt actually kind of really <laughs> does a lot of the work here on the channel, man. Because of all of the work that he's been putting in with the channel and all that lately, I've been really trying my best to bulk record as much of the content as possible so he can have it with as many days in advance as we possibly can so we can have as many edits and things can be worked on within the best time frame as possible. So the day that I'm recording this is November 8th. It's actually 1041 p.m. I'm not entirely sure when this video is going to be going up. So question of the day, leave it down in the comments if you want to. What day are you watching this episode of the Fire Red Omega Egglock? If you're watching this video like years in the future, hi Key, I want you to still leave the date down in the comments. What day and time are you watching this episode? What time zone are you in? I'm so freaking interested now, man. Cause like low key, that's actually kind of the cool thing about the internet is that these videos or even the live streams and all that kind of stuff on the channel is going to be up and documented forever. These videos will be permanent on the internet for years and years and years and years to come. Yo, it's Mastin! That's Mastin's favorite Pokemon. For some reason, this dude likes Dunsparce. <laughs> but isn't that a wild thought, like when you actually kind of think about that, is these videos are going to be up and are going to be everlasting on the channel for the rest of eternity, man. It's kind of nuts. Player defeated the Team Rocket grunt. Ugh, now I'm mad. Bitch, now you're mad? <laughs> okay, you have a Dunsparce on your team and you thought that you were gonna be able to beat me in a battle, but now you're mad? You weren't mad like when you caught the Dunsparce and you actually had confidence in that thing. It's a motherfucking Dunsparce. Oh, and Super Nerd Miguel thinks that he's gonna show up to the party with a Grimer. Uh, pff, newsflash Miguel, just because you have a Grimer doesn't mean that everybody on the core click is gonna like you. Believe me. I know. I don't even know what the fuck I'm commentating about at this point. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. At this point, a lot of my content on the channel is just kind of riffing and more or less saying goofy things in the moment or doing goofy things in the moment. Definitely not thinking it through <laughs> in the slightest. I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun just experimenting with different types of content lately. Like I said, I have no idea when this episode of the Fire Red Omega Egglock goes up. However, I'm assuming fingers crossed, when this video does go up and you can all actually see this episode, uh, my TikTok series already started for the Pokemon Yellow Randomizer Nuzlocke. And if it hasn't started yet, oh God, I leaked it. Oops. <laughs> you know what, Matt, play the intro. What? Yo, Spoudini is learning to recover. That's kind of dope. We're going to get rid of teleport. Here's the thing. I kind of hesitated for a second on that teleport because I'm like, uh, having free escape ropes all the time would be kind of fun, but I don't know. I just feel like a better moveset is more important. This is a Drayano ROM hack after all, man. We ain't playing games. These are hard or something. Hell no, we ain't choosing the dome fossil. Praise Lord Helix, baby. Yo, we just got an antidote. Goodbye, poison. And now we're out of Mount Moon. We are on our way to Cerulean City, baby. A punch of growing velocity packed with the truck to power and blah, 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 blah. We could potentially have a mega punch TM or if we talk to you, you'd give us mega kick. If I'm not mistaken, I think that we only actually get the choice between one of these two TMs. And I think the mega punch is a little bit better. I'm not entirely sure, but let me know down in the comments why I probably picked the wrong TM. <laughs> Yo, Spoutini can learn it. That's actually hilarious. But here's the thing though, is that the fucking mega punch move is normal type and that's physical in this generation. And I don't want to teach a physical move to my Kadabra. So maybe another mon on our team can learn mega kick. Absolutely not. I'm going to pass on these moves for the time being, but let me know down in the comments. Should we maybe go and try to relearn these at some point in the Nuzlocke? Talk to me. Or battle me, I guess, because you're a trainer and you're gonna want to battle me if you're in my line of vision. Okay, cool. Last Chrissy. Yo, shout out to Faint Attack. So it's actually that dude's name, <laughs> Chrissy. When we started our very first Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Egglock here on the channel, I remember that part one hit a thousand views overnight and I was ecstatic because I've never had a video do that before, right? And I put out a tweet and I was so dang excited because I was like, guys, episode one of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Egglock broke 1,000 views overnight. And Faint Attacks, Chrissy liked that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, like little 16, 17 year old Ryan was geeking. I was like, mom, 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 
mom feed the text just liked my tweet. I think I actually showed it to my mom or something. I was so excited, man. <laughs> Cause fun facts, I've been watching him since I was in like seventh grade or something like that. So next up, you're about to send out a Ponyta. You're a pure fire type. We really don't have the best team as far as like coverage and everything goes. Like I'm gonna send out Ponus and go for Rock Slide here, but I feel like we're under leveled in this. Probably not the smartest decision. Ah, level 16, I actually kinda, I have faith. I have some faith in our penis rock monster. Ah, you got burned. All right, here we go. Here's Rock Slide. Let's see how this does. Oh, but that was a crit. It did about half and that was a crit. Why the hell? Honestly though, I'm still feeling kind of crazy. Let's just keep going for these Rock Slides. I think that Ponus can get the dub. You lowered our attack, you bitch. And I'm assuming the rock is physical in this gen, isn't it? Jesus. New plan. We're going to send out our Grimer. I don't even know if Grimer will be successful against a level 16 Ponyta, but you also have a rock move on you. Ah! All right, we're going to go with Nope, and we're going to switch, and Spoudini just go... <laughs> Save the day. I feel like that's low-key Spoudini's thing is just red button Spoudini. Call for help. Spoudini saves the day. I'm imagining like Kadabra with like a superhero cape and like super spoon, like chatted on the chest. You know what, Matt? Our editor here on the channel absolutely loves making sprite art. I'm going to give a request for you, Matt. I want the new sprite on the sidebar for the teams to have a super cadabra. <laughs> That's Spoudini's new thing. Spoudini's a fucking superhero now. <laughs> I love it. Dude, our team is actually really freaking tagged up. I cannot wait to make it to a Pokemon Center. So you have a freaking Pidgeotto level 18. Jesus! Calm down. It's not that serious. <laughs> Oh, wait, shit, that was a crit, you little bitch-ass bird. That didn't do shit. I'm a steel ball made of electric. I flipped that. Let's try it again. I'm an electric ball made of steel. Fuck you, Pidgeotto. You look like Tobin. <laughs> down goes that bird. We just cooked that bird for dinner. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments. Do you guys have any fun plans for uh, Thanksgiving? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not actually entirely sure what I want to do for Thanksgiving. Like, I guess I kind of have a few options ahead of me. If I wanted to go back to Detroit and spend it with family, I could. But I don't know if my parents are actually going to have very many plans for Thanksgiving either, just because of the pandemic and all that fun stuff. I don't even entirely know if I feel comfortable flying back up to Detroit for the time being, you know? Oh, thank God that we healed. Man, our team was looking bad. <laughs> but if I don't end up going back to Detroit, I guess I would just end up spending a pretty normal day here in Atlanta. <laughs> Are we strong enough to take on a rival battle right now? I kind of feel like we're not. Well, ah, level 19 and level 25 are actually doing pretty freaking good on levels. I'm gonna make the executive decision. Let's go get an encounter and then we'll end off the episode with a rival battle. It'll be fun. So here we go. Here's our encounter for Route 4. It is a... It doesn't really matter because it could be swapped out with an egg, but it's an Electric. Level 16 though. That's kind of tits. Ever since I was a little kid though, when I was like 13 years old or something, I've always wanted to make a video on Thanksgiving about cooking mama cook-off for the Wii. And now that I have an editor, I kind of think that 2020 could be the year that we can finally make that cooking mama video. <laughs> Maybe I can get a lot of friends from the Georgia squad to come over and we can play the game together because it's actually a pretty baller multiplayer game, not gonna cap. Have some fun mid-edits, make a fun day out of it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Would you enjoy a one-off video like that for Thanksgiving? Matt, would you enjoy a video like that for Thanksgiving? No. Oh yeah, I knew you'd say that. We're just such good friends. I knew that Matt would say that. <laughs> and we're gonna name this Electric Token because as you guys know, we name every single encounter in this project token. So then that way when it's in the PC, we won't get it mixed up with any Pokemon that you guys sent in in an egg. Like, I don't know, man. Now that Matt's on the channel, I just feel more motivated than ever to make all kinds of different kind of content. Like the TikTok thing that I brought up earlier in the episode, man, it's just so exciting to be working on new forms of content. It's just different. It's just so ambitious. It's a breath of fresh air. I'm so excited. I don't know. I just love content creation. I love everything about this. <laughs> so with that being said, it's time for my favorite part about egg locks. Let's swap out this electric for an egg in the PC. Horizontally, this electric is gonna be swapped out with number five. So that's right here. And vertically, this electric is gonna be swapped out with six. That actually doesn't count because there's only five slots vertically in the PC box. So let's try it again. It's gonna be swapped out with, I don't even know what the hell that could be. We'll just try one more time. I don't like using this glass for the die roll. We'll just go with four. That was the first number that I saw. Cool. Here it is. Yo, this Pokemon's about to be level 16. That's so dope. It is a, oh my God. 
So this month gives named Lime. That's adorable. So thank you to whoever sent in Lime. I love him. He's rocking up to level 16. He's a marsh stomp now. Water and ground typing. The torrent ability with the moveset of tackle, mud shot, water gun, and mud slap. This thing is going to be power one day if we need to use him. I don't think that we're actually going to need to quite yet, though. We're going to throw him back into the PC, and now we've got some power in the PC, man. That's awesome. I'm just thinking about Matt. I don't want to make you do a layout change, man. You're welcome. <laughs> but no, to be totally honest with you guys, the reason why I actually don't like swapping out Pokemon and Nuzlocke is I kind of do enjoy the challenge a little bit of you have to use the Pokemon that you catch in the order that you do. And then when a Pokemon dies, then it's kind of fine to go into the PC and kind of pick what you think the best Mon to help out your team would be. But it's just kind of fun to have to use Mons that you wouldn't normally use. You know what I'm saying? Like we have an Encada on the team and eventually that thing's going to evolve into a Ninjask slash a Ninja and that'll be a lot of fun. You don't normally see Pokemon like that in Let's Play, so it's just it's just fun for me. I don't know. All right, boys, here it is. It's Frank. Yo, Ryan. Why did I give him my voice? What the hell? No, screw this. <laughs> here, let me see what you caught, Ryan. Yo, I got some powerful shit, Frank. What the hell do you have? A Golbat dog. Dog, you realized my full metal misclicked and went for metal sound instead of Thundershot crap. Fought so many of these things in the Mount Moon. And we missed. Full Metal, I'm trying to hype you up right now. This is a rival battle. You can't be missing on the job. You can't be hitting Metal Sound instead of Thundershock. <laughs> this is Frank. This is Golbat. This is the real deal. And you're flinching, Full Metal, bro! And you let him live on one HP. Full Metal, what the hell am I paying you for? And you're still flinching. I am going to fire Full Metal so fast. Thank you! Yo, we're level 20 now, though. That's kind of sick. Magby is the next Pokemon that you're about to send out. That's fine. We can use, like, I want to use Ponus. Yeah, we'll use Ponus. Like, I know this is terrifying because, oh, God, you're 11 levels above. Yeah, no, we're switching out to Spoudini. My mindset with this was like, yeah, no, we can go for a rock move. It's stab. It's super effective. But no, we're just too low leveled. Let me know down in the comments, what level should I grind the team up to? Like, what are the levels of some important battles coming up soon that I should be aware of? and how can we get the team to be up to par for them? Like, are there any Pokemon on our team that I should be focusing on? Stuff like that. You guys probably know this game way better than I do. Because this is actually a blind playthrough of this ROM hack. I've never played through Pokemon Fire Red Omega before. Yo, and we snagged that confusion, babe. Hit yourself. Hit yourself, Magby. Hit yourself, Magby. Yeah! Kill yourself, Magby. Yeah! Ghastly is the next Pokemon that you're about to send out. Isn't Psybeam super effective on this thing? Bro, we got this battle in the bag. Yo, here we go. The Psybeam connects. It's stab. It is super effective. One shot. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Six levels above. And I'ma buy some Yeezys. Hashtag bars. Then what's your last Pokemon you're about to send out a Snubble? Boy, you're not even fairy type yet. Get the hell out of here. You're lowering my attack. Bitch, I'm a special attacker. Can't do shit on me. One shot yo ass. <laughs> hey, take it easy. You won already. <laughs> Why am I imagining my Kadabra is like starting to beat up Frank after we already took out the rest of his team or some shit? It's like, yo, take it easy. Take it easy. You beat me already. What the hell? Why are, why are you punching me? My chest, ah, my jugular. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. Then that added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world's famous, whatever. He invented the Pokemon storage system. And since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. I cannot wait to see what the hell Matt does to that punched me in the jugular bullshit. Oh, yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really. You're always plodding behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Fuck you, Frank. I beat you in a battle. My Kadabra punched you in the jugular. A chatty gossip like you. Well, he kind of got me there. I do kind of ramble way too fucking much. That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Damn, Frank. Maybe that's why you're still single. Add some MLG air horns right there, Matt. All right, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. You will smell me because this video is sponsored by... Nautica! This is the cologne that I actually use every day. It's not actually a sponsorship, but Nautica, if you want to, I recommend your stuff. You'll smell like a fucking sailor if you put this shit on. Just go bam right under the hoodie, bam right on the neck, bam right there on the wrist, and then you go, oh. And then there you go! You smell like the Atlantic Ocean. Why you would want to smell like the Atlantic Ocean, I have no idea, but... 
You will. With all that being said, though, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart for checking out today's episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Omega Egg Lock. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun bullshit. And I'll catch you all in the next episode where we're going to be taking on the Nugget Bridge. Hope you're excited, because I definitely am. And get some hype down in the comment section. Love you guys. Peace, peace. Play that out.